Hey what's up guys, Chaggle here and here is part 2 of the satellite zoom in effect tutorial. So let's get right into it. Um, what you want to do is import those files that I sent you or that I had in the description a link. Um, I have another link if you didn't download it already just import it into your into into After Effects and then make a new folder called import media and these are the two files and then what you want to do now is um, make a new composition make it 1280 by 720 call it main comp uh, frame rate if it's not already 60 frames per second make it 60 frames per second duration I'm gonna make minus 10 seconds it's your preference and press OK and then you want to drop that into your comps folder and then bring the Raven Stadium or wherever you have um, into the main comp and then you can um, scale that to fit the comp size you can always um, change the comp settings to your liking but I'm gonna guess that 1280 by 720 is what everybody's gonna generally use and now um, drop your imported media in here For right now um, high both of them and we're just going to do some color correction layer new adjustment layer brightness um, we're going to call this brightness and then um, type in in your effects and presets brightness contrast or just brightness I'm going to make this darker Per, um, it's your preference, whatever you want. You don't even have to color correct it, but it makes it look better. Uh, bring the contrast up by 10. Alright, that looks nice. And then we'll use CC Toner. Um, layer New. The comp. Layer New. Adjustment Layer. Uh, CC Toner. Select that. Type in CC Toner. Alright, blend 50%, midtones, I like a good, I use a good blue midtone, you can use whatever you want, but I think blue looks nice to me. Um, about right here, 80%, bump it up to um, 80, Let's see what this looks like. You just play with it. Um, make this a little darker. Change it to 75%. All right, and you want to drop this under the grid. All right, now you want to go back into your project and your line scan. You want to um, uh, do a time lapse with it. So just drop it down here. And then the loop, um, I'm going to make it 10. Oh, you can make it smaller, probably like 2 because it's already lapsed. But if you have like, um, if you have the time to like 20 seconds, you probably want to loop it. But if you don't, you probably just want to keep it at 2 loops. Nice and simple. Alright, I'm going to turn it on. You don't need the audio change it to um toggle switches change it to screen all right and then we're gonna add effects type in bin and then add um this to it uh, make the transition completion about 15% Make the direction 90 degrees. Um, I'm gonna feather that about five. Uh, the width, we'll play with it. Uh, 15. Uh, just play with it. Um, 30. 25. 
20%. Uh, 15% was good. Let me check and see if it looks better on soft light. Nope. Screen it is. And then I'm going to change the color by using CC toner again. Drop that. And for the tutorial, I'm going to be using red. Sorry, use green. Use whatever you want. Blend. You don't have to blend it, but I'm going to blend it to about 20%. And if you can barely see the lines, you can just um, decrease the opacity on this. Or no, keep it at 100. Just um, don't feather it that much. Alright, that looks nice. I want to turn the grids on. Toggle switches or change the screen. Um, soft light instead. Uh, turn the opacity down to about 50%. Maybe 20. No, 30%. Alright. You can just play with the opacity. Alright. Now, what really sells the effect of a satellite zooming in is um you can use either um cc spear or you can go to effect distort and use optics um compensation optic compensation it's the same thing as CC Spear. If you already know what CC Spear is, I don't know. It's 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 just, it's basically the same thing. So if you have a CC, just use Optic. Go into Sort and use um Optic. I, I'm just gonna call it OC. Just use OC. Uh, make a new layer, adjustment layer. Add CC Spear or Optic or OC. And then it makes um, a spear. It looks like like a planet, but we want to decrease or increase the radius. Not not a CC spear. I'm sorry. CC lens. But yeah, um, OC that is the same thing as CC lens. And then increase the size, and then we have our effect. Um, I'm gonna change it to 250. It kind of makes it look like um, it's zooming in for real. Like it's zooming in really fast. Or something like that. All right. Um, now I'm going to um, keyframe or um, make a wiggle the opacity on the grid just to make some variation. Wiggle point five ten, and then we should get some good wiggles. So this real quick. Right, maybe make this more extreme. Point five twenty. All right, I like that. You can always add CC lens to like just um, one layer to make it more uh, custom, I guess. 